The word Greenway was coined by an inspiring urban analyst, William H. White, Holly White, who wrote a famous book on the social life of small urban spaces. The term Greenway made its first print appearance in the 1959 report on Securing Open Space for Urban America. White wrote that in Philadelphia, Edmund Bacon, another famous author, had planned neighbourhood units with greenways and parks in between. The parks were blobs and the greenways were linked between the blobs. Charles Little, in 1995, suggested that the green in Greenway came from Green Belt and the way from Park Way. This supports the use of Greenway to describe linear public open space in either rural or urban areas. Olmsted had used the term Parkway for an attractive road through parkland. A greenway doesn't have to run through a park, but it does need to be a route for leisure or commuter use, and it does need to have good environmental qualities, in the sense of having attractive surroundings and not suffering from traffic noise or air pollution, or too much ugliness. My preferred definition of a greenway is simply a route that is good from an environmental point of view. But I agree with Jack O'Hearn's 1995 account that greenways are networks of land containing linear elements that are planned, designed and managed for multiple purposes, including ecological, recreational, cultural, aesthetic or other purposes, compatible with the concept of sustainable land use. It's good, but it's long. Another way of explaining the Greenway concept is through the use of historic examples, which I'll cover in a second video. First, let's have a look at some ways that are not Greenways.